Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smithy D. Want to see more videos like this? Then all you need to do is subscribe and hit the notification bell to be part of the Smithy Notification Squad. In this video today, I'm going to demonstrate three battles using Geonosians to defeat the current popular Seven Star Houndstooth lineups. For the first two battles, I will be using a Three Star Houndstooth, and the very last battle, I will be replacing this ship with Biggs. So let's just jump straight into it. So we're going against the enemy capital ship of Tarkin, we've made him slightly quicker so he gets the first turn to try and replicate what the Whales Krakens or a more geared Tarkin will have. For this case, what sometimes does happen that we don't get ability blocked and that is great because that is allowing us to get our moves out, we've got the extra offense off our Geonosian spy for him being in stealth. So we're going to go and go for an ability block AoE to see if this can work. It didn't, it followed the same RNG as what we did. So that's not a problem. We're gonna start working on their Houndstooth and really go into town on him. He's got the defense down. We wanna stun him as quick as possible so he cannot clear the target lock and he cannot clear the defense down. So we're gonna use Sunfak for this purpose. Our Sunfak in this battle will die. It's inevitable, it's going to happen. Um, he's just not strong enough to stay alive versus once the third G Ocean rolls in. We're going to go for an assist. Look at that crit right there. He's nearly dead. And we're going to bring in our three star houndstooth to protect our team. But it's not to worry. We have cut, as you can see there, we've got two Gene Oceans that are stunned on our side. But we're going to have to bring in the houndstooth now to try and bridge that protection. We will lose Gene Ocean. Sun fact, that is solely because he's going to taunt with the enemy buffs and he's just going to die he's not going to be able to regain his health or anything like that but the great thing about bringing the house tooth in is every time he counter attacks he's healing his protection and health so we're still going to go to work against the enemy hounds tooth nearly lost our sun fact there they've gone for the offense up we're going to do identical to that and try and take them down as quick as possible and we're then going to start working on some fact once houndstooth is out of the way we're going to use our basic attack on the houndstooth he's nearly dead he's there we've just lost our sun fact but this triple assist well it's going to be a double assist now that sun fact's not there but if we use this attack we should be able to take out the hounds too. So he's gone. We've got our hounds too. We are rolling. Now let's work on their some fact and then move over slightly to the other Gean Oceans where possible. But this counter attack is just going to counter attack them, counter attack them, heal. But we want to take out their some fact as quick as possible because they're going to be bringing in their Veda, which can do a lot of harm to our ship, especially at Freestar. And there it is. Their Veda is coming in. So hopefully we can brace ourselves and he can survive. Yes, he did. So that is not uh, end of the world. He could have gone for the ability block, however, but he went for an, a basic attack. So now we're going to bring in our Vader, and it's going to debuff like it has to our team. It's going to do to them, and our ships are all going to get an offense boost from that because of the debuffs per enemy ship. So we're going to have to go after the Sunfak. Hopefully we can kill him as quick as possible, but so far it is working so good. Um, our Houndstooth is taking a little bit of a, a whoop in there, but it's not the end of the world. Um, hopefully we can take that ship out and we're taking out Geonosian Soldier. As you can see there, we've been ability blocked, but we're going to have to somehow now start taking out the Vader. He does have Retribution, so it may be a good call right here to work on the Geonosian Spy. He's going to gain stealth, but taking out our hounds tooth it's not to worry we're gonna try and use we've got an offense down so we're gonna use a basic I would say here and it didn't kill him but he's got two dots on him that will probably kill the Geonosian spy they've gone for the AoE again we're gonna bring in somebody like Poe and hopefully no we can't we're gonna have to do the offense up and we're gonna have to do it really really quickly here guys I'm gonna have to take him out I think I've got faith I think we can do it that's 40k this should work. That's one. Now we're going to move over. And as you can see, boom, 84k. So we're going into our second battle and we're using Thrawn's capital ship instead of Tarkin's. Hopefully we don't have any really bad RNG or an ability blocks because I'm going to show you a small little tactic of what we will be using. So we're going to be using the buff and 
the enemy houndstooth is quite slow, so it's going to take a little bit of a while for it to get us. So what we're going to do here is the assist attack on the Geonosian soldier and take him out of the game completely. He's gone now. He's out of the battle early on. This has really weakened the enemy side. However, the houndstooth now is still left there. He does have defense down, so we're going to have to start working on him with that torn top 100 Hey, have a look at that 100k he in for. And this is Geonosians with a maxed out Thrawn. So Thrawn is a great capital ship. We're going to be using the Houndstooth again. But the issue being here is he's not going to be having a Retribution, which why it worked so well last time. But we're still going to try it and see how we get on. We may not need to bring in Vader, put all those debuffs in because it doesn't matter right now. But we're going to go and try and attempt to put the Breach on. So that's a 30k hit right there. But we did get rid of one of their attackers, which is great. We're going to now stun the Hound's Tooth. And look at that. He's nearly, nearly, nearly dead. Boom. 66 Okay, we've our Sunfax just been stunned. So overall, this capital ship, if we can stay alive long enough, we're going to be able to get our special off a lot quicker. So now we're just going to use the AoE see what we can do on that or we could have gone for the the slight attack of just going and using the basic um but there we go they're going to be bringing their vader in very very soon so we we're in a good position guys we are really in a good position here where we're, we're going to go for the triple attack boom 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 that's great they're bringing their vader in they're either no they went for the healer this time they changed the tactics of who they're bringing in this works favor. This works great for us, to be honest, because we were really hurting them. They went with Plo Koon. We're going to bring in a reinforcement, and let's see. Maybe we'll bring in our own Plo Koon. How about that AI? Let's heal up our ships, and there we go. Boom. So um, we're going to have to kill their Plo Koon. He's got crit immunity. We could have brought Invader and went for a more attacking character, but it's not a problem. We can get rid of their Plo Koon. I reckon he'll be gone quite quickly. Um, he will counter-attack, gain protection ops, kind of slight, slightly to how um, a Slave 1 works under Tarkin. Um, um, sorry, Home 1, what am I on about? But as you can see, this is really, really successful. I'm actually liking this more than me using Tarkin. Because it's just really, really off the bat, really good. We could have brought an attacker there. They're gonna, we're gonna be able to use our special ability before they are, um, like this. And let's do this, boom. And let's give it all to the Hound Tooth. Yes, yes, destroy them. But there, as you can see, boom, beautiful. I don't know if it will kill him. No, one more hit. One more hit, guys, and we've done it. And it's quite quick, especially that I'm playing it on a, a two times speed as well. So, yeah, let's end it right there. So for the very last battle of this video, we're going to be taking out the Houndstooth in favour of Bix to see if we can still live up to the same level of success with the Fraun capital ship. I do hope this works without the Hound's Tooth. I don't see why it cannot. As long as we can take out the Geonosian Soldier right at the beginning, then we're rolling in it. So we're going to put the offense up and hopefully put the debuffs down on them. So hopefully we'll see what happens. Um, as long as we can get the triple assist attack off right here, we should be able to kill him. Boom, he's gone. And that is an important factor to this. You know, the house tooth is slower than a maxed out Geonosian spy. So that is where you want to really be looking into. And because you've got the debuffs on them, they're going to hit less, you know, if they get to go first on the Geonosian side, on the enemy side. And um, we're going to go for the assist attack. Look at that, 77k. You know, um, for on, uh, on crits, as long as your team's crit critting, they have really, really high crit damage. Um, all we can do here is use the basic 25k. That is beautiful. Um, they're going to be bringing in their Sunfak. And they've stunned two of our characters on there, which sucks bad. Um, we're going to have to bring in now our bigs and go for an assist attack on the enemy Hound's Tooth. <laughs> right, let's have a look right here. So we're going to go for the assist. Boom, 40, 68. That is, that is beautiful. So we may be able to pull off the same level as success or close to without having a 3-star Hound's Tooth. 
They've gained the offense up on their side. They've gained a bunch of turn meter. We're going to have to then go for the basic 15k. We got a nice assist there. We've nearly lost. <laughs> when I say nearly, we've nearly lost our Sunfak. 67k though, guys. Right. We're doing quite well without a Hounds 2. So this is working quite successful right here. Um, I don't know. I might go for an attack and let's see if we're going to use the Gene Ocean Spies basic. So we're going to go for that 18k, that, that, that sucked. I should have just gone for an AoE there. You know, I've used this sometimes before and I've seen like Poe do like 100k crit and stuff. And, you know, just didn't work. Come on. This is where we could, we're could we losing momentum. Right, so we're going to probably have to bring in um, Placoon. And we're going to have to get rid of all them debuffs. Heal our team. We're going to have to force a taunt on our bigs. That's good. We're, we're doing quite well. Boom. So, there's some facts dead. He's gone. He's gone. We, it's going, it was going really well. It was going really well. Right, so. We're going to have to risk it. And we're trying to take out their Vader. Right. They've gone for the AoE again. We're doing really, really well, guys. And we're taking down this team with what we've got, of what you've seen. And um, let's have a look. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, we could have done with an RNG assist there. But we're going to get off the, the uh, this big, big special KO before them. Look at that. Game's won again. So what has been working well for you in your fleet arena? Have you been using TIE Fighters buff immunity or you've been using the TIE Silencer stun? Let me know in the comments below. I definitely want to know what works best for you. If you've enjoyed today's video then please make sure that you do leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure that you do subscribe and hit the bell icon to become part of my notification squad. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm the Smithy D. May the force be with you, always.